Hey what's happening guys my name is Bharat Nagpal and uh, welcome to this special video for all of you who have been following us on Instagram by the way here's the link to our Instagram account it's at igyan so for all of those who have been following us on Instagram uh, it's fairly simple to say that uh, we are building a hackintosh and uh, for me uh, this is sort of the ultimate hackintosh because we've put together things that work the best according to support communities according to a lot of websites and according to uh, one website that we use for building our Hackintosh uh, machines. Uh, so I'm going to be leaving all the details for that on a post on iGyan as well. And we'll have some of the information in the description of this video below. So before we get started on this ultimate Hackintosh and why we are building this, uh, check out our intro. So we are building this Hackintosh because uh, we earlier decided that we are going to buy a Mac Pro uh, but a lot of things uh, that are available in the Mac Pro in India are not up to our requirements and the machine is fairly expensive, uh, comes at about uh, 2 lakh rupees and it does not allow for a lot of things to be customized. For example, you can't go and customize your own Mac Pro in India, not yet anyway, apparently at the end of 2015, when Apple finally comes into India, we'll be able to do that. But for the time, uh, we can't do it, so we decided to build our own Hackintosh. We've worked with Hackintosh machines before and they work really well, uh, especially because we do a lot of video editing, it comes in handy for that, whether we're using Vegas or Premiere Pro or even After Effects. Uh, let's start off with the parts list and we'll tell you exactly what all we bought and for exactly how much. So I have the list here in my iGAN notes and yes they are actually iGAN notes. So uh, before we get started we'll talk about uh, the cabinet. So the cabinet needed to be uh, big and airy. I needed to install a, uh, a water cooling system as well as have a lot of air in there, uh, have good circulation. I didn't want it to be compact, space is not an issue for us. So we decided to go with the Corsair Graphite 600T. We got this in a white color, it's available in a bunch of colors. Now this cost us about 13,399 when we bought it and since then the price has changed a little bit. Now all the links, like I said before, all the links to everything that we've bought will be in the description including Amazon.com links so for people who are not in India uh, they can buy this in the US and we'll be leaving the dollar prices for these as we show the devices as well. So for uh, for India we got it at a price of 13,000 uh, 399 which is a fairly good price for the kind of cabinet it is it's it comes with two uh, really quiet fans it has a fan controller that allows you to control the speed of the fan and you have a lot of USB ports which are right on the front that allow you to basically control the device conveniently uh, the next device uh, the next main component that we decided to use was the gigabyte motherboard which comes with Thunderbolt capability now why I needed Thunderbolt capability was for a bunch of things a lot of hard drives that we use uh, have Thunderbolt adapters. Uh, we have a RAID system that we use which comes with Thunderbolt on it. So it allows us to basically communicate with those device, uh, devices faster. And once Apple comes out with a 5K Thunderbolt display, uh, we'll be able to use that with this machine because right now uh, the monitor that we're using is just a uh, regular HD, full HD monitor and we did not get a 4K display even though I was edging towards the Samsung 4K monitor. So let's talk about uh, the motherboard. The motherboard is a Gigabyte GA-Z97X UD7TH. Now I got this uh, when it was not available in India and we used uh, eBay to get it but now it's available in India. The price is roughly around 18 to 19 thousand rupees and we paid approximately the same price and it is of course available in the US easily for about 300 odd dollars. So again links to all of those will be in the description as well as on igan.in. Going further the chipset or uh, the CPU that we use with the Intel Core i7 4790K. It's a 4 gigahertz CPU and it is unlocked. It also allows you to overclock the CPU quite a lot since we're using a water cooled system we'll be able to do that quite efficiently without any issues. So that is the CPU that we used. Now for graphics we used uh, the EVGA GTX 770. Uh, we got two of these 4 gigabyte cards. Uh, now a lot of guys were saying that why didn't we use the 970 or the 870. That's precisely the reason why we are building a Hackintosh is that we want the maximum compatibility and the GTX 770 is the most compatible uh, GPU that is available out there and since we got 4 gigabyte units and two of them we'll be using an SLI bridge to connect them. I don't see any issues in the editing that we're going to be doing. So DDR5, 4GB into 2. Uh, so we'll get a 
8 gigabyte over an SLI bridge, which is excellent. Next, for uh, RAM, the only low point of this motherboard is that we have only four RAM slots on this. Otherwise, uh, in the previous motherboard that we used, which is also a gigabyte motherboard, we had eight RAM slots. Uh, but in this case, we have uh, the Kingston HyperX Fury 8 gigabyte. Again, we got this from Amazon India. Again, the links will be in the description. The price is roughly around 23,000 rupees for four slots of eight gigabyte units, which makes it a total of 32 gigabytes of RAM on this machine. For the SMPS or the power supply, we use the Corsair RM750. Now that costs about 9,000 rupees and uh, it should hold all the power needs for our GPU, our CPU, our motherboard, as well as our water cooling unit. So we were happy with this and we still have a lot of spare uh, power supply coming out of this. So we, we like to be on the higher side. You can go with the 650 or even the 550 if you're using one GPU. The next thing that we use with the Corsair H100i, which is the dual fan uh, water cooler with a big radiator. Now this fits directly on this machine. The cabinet, which is the Corsair Graphite uh, 600, uh, is capable of installing this uh, water cooled uh, unit directly within itself. So it has the provision for that. And you can install it on the top and which is exactly what we did we installed it on the top the only problem is that because of the installing uh, the uh, water cooling system on the top the pipes the way they are uh, flowing you have to install the cooling unit uh, that fits on top of the cpu in a different position than it's supposed to be but that does not really matter because as long as you get good contact with the cpu head uh, there should be no issues. For the Corsair H100i, we paid Rs. 7,700 and it's easily available on all basic e-commerce websites. So again, the links will be in the description below. So for uh, the hard drive, since we're going to be using a RAID system, we didn't get any internal hard drives, even though we have the capability of installing up to 16 hard drives in this uh, mammoth machine. Uh, we only got one SSD, which is the Samsung 850 Pro SSD. We only got a 256 gigabyte to use as our boot disk. Um, this costs about 13,300 rupees. You can also get the 840, which is slightly slower in speeds, uh, but you save about 7,000 rupees. So you can get it for about seven to 8,000 rupees uh, once you um, buy that again. We'll leave all the links to everything in the description below. So the total of everything that we've bought comes to about 1,76,243 rupees, but we didn't stop there. So we got uh, the Apple keyboard, the Apple Bluetooth mouse, and uh, the Apple trackpad. Now, all of these approximately cost about 15,000 rupees uh, once you get them. Uh, slightly higher than 15,000 rupees, but let's say we paid 15,000 rupees for these. We are using that Bluetooth adapter, which costs about $10 to get in the US. It's difficult to find that precise Bluetooth adapter in India. So you'll really have to play around with a bunch of Bluetooth adapters. Fortunately, I was able to buy it when I was in the US, so get it here. But if you can't, then you'll truly have to source it from the US. You can try websites like eBay or Amazon.com if they're willing to ship it to India. But for the time being, it's not easily available in India. I'll leave a description of the exact Bluetooth adapter that we're using again in the details below as well as on our website. For the network card, again, the same issues with the Bluetooth card. It's not easily available here, but it's the TP-Link WDN 4800. Now, this card costs about $40. That's uh, roughly 2550 Indian rupees. Uh, so that's 2500 bucks for that. Now, for uh, creating the Hackintosh, you'll also need a 16 gigabyte USB 3 drive. You can also use a USB 2 drive if you have one lying around, but a 16 gigabyte USB 3 drive will be fast and efficient and you will require it to sort of create uh, your uh, Hackintosh install disk. Uh, so that is going to cost you about uh, six to 700 rupees, depending on where you buy it from. So that is another thing that you need to get. So that's our complete part list and we assembled it up and this is what our final finished unit looks like. It looks fantastic and beautiful. Uh, the next steps are going to be making the boot drive, uh, installing the software and getting this machine up and running. So we'll be back uh, with the second video showing you how to sort of assemble and arrange everything and uh, get this machine going and what our final machine looks like and what it scores on uh, the benchmark scores. So if you have any questions or queries, you can leave them in the comment section below. A lot of other devices can be used and compatibility is sort of an issue if you're willing to sort of troubleshoot your way through this. Uh, the list that we've used is one of the most compatible uh, lists uh, that exists and the machine should be up and running without any issues if you go by this list. A bunch of issues come along when you are trying to find these parts uh, which may change from time to time or some of them which are not available in India. If you are in the US and you are looking at this video then it might not be a problem for you to find these things uh, as most online 
uh, vendors as well as most uh, computer supply stores carry all of these things so you should have no issues with these uh, so stay tuned for our second video and we'll show you how to sort of get the machine up and going but this has been Bharat Nagpal. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Follow all the details on iGan.in. Catch us for all our updates on Facebook, Twitter, Google+, as well as Instagram. And I'll see you in the next one, guys. Make sure you subscribe to us on YouTube. Thank you for watching.